It's late August 2012, and we've just returned from having an awesomely great time at the Woodstock Fruit Festival. We were gone for a couple of weeks, and it looks like it was nice and warm here because our garden has really, really expanded quite a bit. So, we're going to take a look, and look who we have here, Dr. Karen Dina. So she's going to give us a garden tour of what happened in the last couple of weeks since we've been gone. First of all, we had a lot of tomatoes ripen up while we were gone. And here's a great example of that. There's an indigo rose tomato plant here. Wow, it almost looks like a plum, it's so dark. Yeah, look at that. It's really dark on the side that's exposed to the sun. And then on the underside, when this type of tomato is ripe, it turns this lovely kind of um, orange, reddish type of color. Wow, so if we look over here, some of these, like this one, it's green on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And it's black on the top, so that's not ripe yet, in other words. Nope, that has a little bit more time. And our mint has really flourished. we got the chocolate mint down here. And right here we have French mint, which is mm. a very, very minty, peppermint-flavored type of mint. And everything in this planter really, really took off. Mm, I can really can smell, smell it just mint. from you waving your arms or waving your hands over the leaves. Mm -hmm. So if we move over here, we'll see that our Jerusalem artichokes have continued to grow, and probably within a couple of months, we'll have Jerusalem artichokes that we can take out of this planter. And over here, we have some cherry tomatoes, which really, really went nuts while we uh, were gone. There's where we started on those. Look at Beautiful. that. Beautiful. And there's so many of them everywhere. We're certainly going to have a cherry tomato feast in the next couple of weeks. Over here, we oh, have squash. There go the drippers. And normally we don't <laughs> let our squash get this big, but since we weren't here for a couple of weeks, uh, this one grew very big. Normally we let them get a little bit bigger than this one right here. And luckily we have some smaller ones there that we can shred up and eat raw still. That's right. And some more Jerusalem artichokes here, which grew quite a bit while we were gone. Over here we have tree collard greens. All right, well, those are a little more filled in than a lot of new growth there compared to before. Yeah, they really grew quite a bit, actually, if and, I remember. Yeah, I mean, typically we can't even keep up. We just keep picking and they keep growing, but now there's so many leaves. Well, we'll do what we can. We, gotta, we have an unlimited supply of deep greens. Oh, and this was a little baby when we left a couple of weeks ago. This was, oh a, my a, gosh. This was a new tree collard green, and it grew several it looks, feet in the time that we... Had left. Wow, in a couple of weeks. And then there's another little one starting to come up. That's right. And then we have some little peppers right here. Some of them have started to get Aren't ripe, they as you can see. Look at that. Yep. Looks like this one unfortunately fell over. Well, but hey, that's, we'll get it that's fixed nature. up now that we're back. Hey, what's this over here? That's our kitty. See our little garden helper? <laughs> He always comes out and helps his mommy in the garden. <laughs> and over here we have some lettuce that we put in before we left. And some oh, look it, at that. That totally some bolted. Some already bolted, so well, quite a bit. <laughs> well, we'll get that out of there, but look at the rest of this. We'll be able to eat some of that. That's right. That's uh, red romaine, it looks like. That's what it is. Nice. And then over here we have more tomatoes. More tomatoes. Now, I know in the last update we saw these... Now let me ask you, those look pretty green, but those are actually ripe, right? Those are green zebras. Let's, green zebras. Let's see if they're ripe. Actually, this one has a little bit more time to go. That's a little still hard. A little still. hard, yep. But I think there were some ripe ones over here. There are. In fact, there's some very overripe ones here. Here's oh, a good example that. right it's here. Kind of orangey almost. That's right. That one got a little too ripe. And there's, there's a few other ones here, here too. too. Yeah, look at those. There we go. Nice. Gosh, from a distance, it just looks like a big mass of leaves and vines, but when you get up close, you see all these tomatoes. And here's some more. Wow. So we're going to be having a green zebra feast. And there's the a red season. one in there, too, so that's a different variety, right? That's right. You put a whole bunch of plants in together. That's right. That one would be a um, early girl. So we have some uh, mixture of heirloom tomatoes and non-heirlooms here. And this one in particular uh, was the one that we mentioned earlier, which is green zebra, green zebra. heirlooms. Whereas early girls are not heirlooms. And if you look here, you'll nice. see even more 
very ripe tomatoes here. Look at those. Oh, look at all those. Boy, nice fat and red. Just yep. like we like them. That's right. <laughs> Ready to go into our and salads. And there's some more behind those leaves. That's right. Our suburban foraging here. How fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then these are some more of these Cherokee purples. Yeah, these I planted late in the season. Yeah, so, they so they're really be, small. Yeah, they won't be uh, ripening up probably for another month. Well, that's okay. We'll have plenty in the meantime. That's right. All right, we got to make it past the tree collars here. Head over to our other bed. So, our previous collards, cranking away. This one shoot's coming way up the front and has a lot of new growth on it there, so that looks great. Looks like we've got some more romaine that was just starting a month or so ago, and now some of it got a little wilted. We weren't here to give it extra water, but, um, you know, a lot of it looks excellent. So, in our absence, we lost a few things, but we still have a lot of great stuff to eat here, which is which is great, of course. And then next over here, more tomatoes. Boy, what a mass of tomatoes. Now, it's interesting, when we were here, when I left two weeks ago, none of these tomato leaves were coming out onto the lawn. So Karen's going to have to trim those back, and I'll, uh, I'm due to cut the lawn here, but we'll have to trim some of this stuff back. A lot of growth in two weeks. So here's some other interesting tomatoes. Here's Cherokee purples right here. So lots and lots of tomatoes, as you can see. There's some Romas in here and some yeah. cherry tomatoes. And those are brandywine tomatoes. Brandywines, yeah. Well, the, the camera can pick those up because they're nice and ripe. There's one that's still green. Oh, holy smokes, what's this big monstrosity here? This is a tomatillo. That's right. We saw it last time and it was getting big, but not nearly this big. Yes, it, it has actually crowded out a lot of the plants around it, which all happen to be peppers. Although there are a couple of peppers over here that are rather large, and they'll be ripening up probably within the next couple of months. Oh, look at that. Okay, cool. Yeah. And the tomatillos are starting to get bigger, and hopefully yeah, they'll have those. look like those little lanterns on there. Mm -hmm. All right. So do we want to take a look at some cucumber? And here we have a variety of cucumber plants. In fact, we have one that's grown out onto the walkway. Hmm, look yeah. at that. And then over here we have a lemon cucumber plant. Oh, that's what all those things are. That's right. Yellow things. And this one is ripening up very nicely. We have a couple of ones over here that have not ripened yet, but they will be probably shortly. Cool. Yep. And we have a really interesting odd-shaped cucumber <laughs> here. <laughs> it's in a circle. And then we have some really large ones over here. Aha. Uh -huh. Check this out. Oh, wow. Look at that fat one. That's amazing. Man, nice. And then we have another one over here that's kind of There's inconspicuous, a little hard to see over here. Another fatty. That's Very right. good. There's one down on the ground. That's right. And then we've got a couple uh, up on the, up, growing up here. Mm-hmm. Nice. Cool. All right, well that looks great. So next we'll go and take a look at some squash. All right. Oh, there's our garden helper. Okay, get. <laughs> Scoot. All right, so now we're over here at the, uh, the squash area, our new bed where we just laid some compost out on the ground and uh, ran our irrigation line over there. So look at that, that looks like a gold bar squash that's gotten nice and big. We probably better pick that today. That's right. And we have some more gold bar over here next to some bell peppers that are in the process of ripening. Okay, and I think probably on our last update those were pretty small. We got some zucchini. There's there. some more zucchini. Looking good. Oh man, here's some here's that got a, really a little big one. A little bit too big. <laughs> so <laughs> We'll have to, uh, oh man, there's another huge one. Oh well, you know, that's what happens, things grow. And then we have another very large one over here too. Look at that wow. one. Looks like a brontosaurus club or something. <laughs> oh, no and doubt. I see some tomatoes that aren't ripe yet, and look at that. I see some red in there too, some tomatoes that are getting really ripe. 
Here's one thing that happened when we were gone that wasn't so great. We had this big sunflower and it was leaning away from the camera. So what I did is I put in this stake and I put in some rebar. There's that pole of rebar and then there's a line you can see going across Karen's leg. So it prevented it from flopping but basically now the sunflower flopped the other way. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Let's see how it looks from the bottom. Well, it still looks pretty cool there, but we'll have to see if we can stake it out on the other side and and, get, and straighten it out a little bit. That's right, and it looks like the sunflower seeds are starting to mature in, in that sunflower head. Over here we have more tomatoes and some more summer squash. And while we are away, we've got some very large... Oh my god, look at those things. Looks like patty a pan. big jellyfish or something. Yep, patty pan, summer squash. Wow. Yep. And then, wow, a lot of red. That's right. A lot more tomatoes. So it looks like we're going to have lots of tomatoes and lots of squash. We had some friends over a little while ago for a, a raw pasta party. We spiralized the squash and made some cool tomato-based dressings. And it looks like we're going to need to do that again. Oh, and it looks like we got a lot of cherry tomatoes in here, too. Boy, those are really flavorful, so that's pretty cool to see. Oh, and then we have some yellow tomatoes over there. Look at those. Those are pineapple heirlooms. Oh, those are our favorites. Those are incredible. Cool. So, basically, we're rolling here, and uh, throughout the rest of the month of August, and probably all throughout September, looks like we're going to have a lot of tomatoes. This definitely has been a great year for gardening. Alrighty, and why don't we do this? We'll pan over to our garden helper. He always likes hanging out with his mom and dad. And we will uh, bid you farewell. And we hope you're all growing a lot of good stuff too. Or, at minimum, getting a lot of tomatoes and cucumbers and squash and some of the other stuff we're growing here at your local farmer's markets.